G'day again. I thought I'd make a video to put up on YouTube about the um, evaporative cooler that I decided to install myself. So it's a bit of a warm day today, middle of spring, 28.9 degrees is the ambient temperature inside just where I sit in my office. Um, so that's where we're at. I haven't turned it on of course at this stage. Let's just give you an idea of how warm the house can get in the afternoon. I've installed full ducting to all the outlets from the evaporative cooler which lives up on top of the roof. Um, where we live out here it's a very dry, very hot summer. Uh, it's very rare that we get humid days. So we um, find evaporative cooling works extremely well and it's very energy efficient. Okay, so I just turned on the uh, controller. Just adjust it a bit there. It's, uh, it's in its preparing to start mode right now. Um, basically I, I like to start it with a reasonable airflow so that when the, the unit kicks on we get a, a nice inundation of cool air throughout the house and then you'll see that in a little while I turn it down quite low to maintain a, a very comfortable indoor temperature. We'll check the outside ambient now. Uh, I've shown you the inside temperature. Okay here's the outside ambient so it's about 30 degrees in the shade. Um, it's a very hot sunny day. Well not very hot for Broken Hill but for the middle of spring she's a pretty warm sunny day as you can see there's not a cloud in the sky so it's um it's a good day to check this okay, out okay this is um my son James he lives beside me in the office with his computer set up and he's got some things on the wall here and you can see them flapping about that gives you an idea of the airflow uh, when we first start it so there's quite a, a gush of cool breeze because the unit pre-wets the pads before the uh, fan begins to circulate the air any air that's blown in is immediately cool so that's kind of pleasant the old window mount evaporative cooler that we used to have uh, tended to blow very hot air for the first couple of minutes right, so I'm just turning that down now as you can see that's where we um, have been running it on these warmer days in spring I don't doubt that we'll need more airflow come extreme temperatures in summer but at the moment that's more than enough to keep the house cool. We had it running yesterday evening for a while, it was quite warm at the end of the day and uh, after a couple of hours of operation at that setting we had to turn it off, it was too cold. Okay, the evaporative cooler has been running for about uh, 10 minutes and you can see now the temperature 21.2 and still dropping so we're um, certainly seeing the benefits of the ducted cooling at this stage. 21.1, there you go. 